Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. Today, I am so excited to film this video. I feel like it's been a minute since I've spoken to you about the new house. So as you guys will, of course, already know by now, me and Mitchell have reserved our first home together for 2024 Woo! um and yeah we're well into the moving process now we've literally just exchanged so that's the exchange of the day the exchange we? of a day so that means it's all legally bind legally, legally binding and yeah. we've got our move date yeah um, so I actually thought it's about time I created a whole video on moving home, the process. Obviously, as you guys know, we have gone for a new build and I've had so many questions about how did you pick the company yeah. that you've gone with? Um, why have you gone for a new build? What sold you? To a new build and everything well, like that. What, what house type? Yeah, yeah what house few type? People said that in the like, why have you chose that house? Type? Yeah, there's so many different house types. There is, there is. <laughs> it can be a bit of a minefield yeah, to know which yeah. one to choose. So yeah, today I thought I'd bring you on the whole new build journey with me and Mitchell. So the first things first, we thought we'd actually go and take you to the show home of the house type that we have selected because I don't think I've actually shown you and gave you a tour no. of the house type yet. I've no. not. So that's why we're heading today. We're stopping for some breakfast first we are in nottingham currently because that is where the house type is yeah. um of our the show uh, home, of the it? show home yeah. um so yeah come along we will answer all the questions when we're going around the show home so i can obviously show you and tell you like what the selling points were for us and everything like that and yeah i just thought as well i might go into a little bit more detail about the whole process of buying a new build and yeah because i was because i've always bought I've only bought an house. I've never sold an house and bought an house. Yeah. Like, in the old process with Davidson's, I was panicking, like, what do you do? How do you do it? But yeah. they're so, like, no, you don't have to do anything. It's so, like, so it honestly mean? has been yeah. so smooth for yeah, us so far, has. hasn't it? Uh, been... The only thing was, the only thing which was, it was our fault was trying to make sure the chain, everyone was happy in the chain. Yeah, of course, if you're in a chain, yeah. that can be a little bit. But that all got done in the end, didn't it? But yeah, you don't have to do anything, do you? No, it's, it's really it's, smooth. It's, it's really smooth. So, we're going to talk through our whole journey and bring you along on it today. So, yeah, first things first, let's get let's some food get in our bellies lunch. and then we're going to go to the show home. Okay, so I just thought I'd do a voice over this part of the video because you couldn't actually hear me all that well because it was so windy. But this is the Barnwell, guys. This is the Davidson's home that we have chosen. And I just really wanted to show you the exterior because obviously, this was another massive selling point of ours and just talk you through some of our favorite features of it so as you can see it's a very symmetrical house from the outside it almost gives that georgian feel to it as well which we really loved because i just don't feel like i get that typical new build vibe from the outside another thing we really liked about the house as well is the brickwork and if you actually look on the outside of the house and the brickwork there it actually kind of differs um, and we just really like that feature i mean i don't know the technical term for that but yeah visually it just looks so nice so anyway that is the outside exterior of the house um but now let me take you in the inside and give you a tour okay so first things first i feel like we'll begin probably with the selling point of the home shall, you, shall we shall we say let's do it um because i feel like this is what you see as soon as you walk through this door so if we just take a step back as soon as you walk in you can see this one bam straight ahead as soon as me and mitchell walked into this back room we were like that's it it's sold so this is the back room of the house. This is the open plan living, kitchen and dining area. As you can see, this just makes an amazing place for a family home to dine, have all your family over. I feel like this is the heart of the home, isn't it? 100%. We like we were spending a lot of time here and it was really key to us that we had a nice space that we could, like I say, invite friends and family around. So as you can see, this is the kitchen area. We've got a real nice breakfast bar here, which me and Mitchell love because we're gonna get some stools to put here. So we can sit and have breakfast here if we want to be a little bit more informal. This is cute, isn't it? I feel like this is a feature you can actually add on, you know. Now, it is, I think. Um, but we didn't both miss in our choices. Um, we've got we've gone for that induction of it as well, haven't we? Yeah, this is the hub that we've actually gone for. Yeah. One of the amazing things with Davidson's and buying a new home as well is you can choose your extras. You can choose how you have your kitchen. You can choose the worktop. You can choose the cupboards. So that was a real plus for us too. So we know that we can literally move in and everything is to our taste and how we want it. Obviously there's standard appliances and there are things you can upgrade on. So you can literally spend as much or as less as you want. Another big thing for us was having a utility room. I absolutely just, yeah, I hate doing the washing to be honest with you. So it's nice you can just shut the door on it, have, maybe you could put a washing basket here. Yeah. Shove all your clothes, shut the door. 
Um, there's plenty of storage as well. I think these. Is this one added as an extra? They're extras, but I think yeah. we're going to, in the future, probably look at getting them ourselves, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, it's nice that this is boarded, to be fair. Yeah. Out of the way. But yeah, you can have all your cleaning things here. Tumble dryer, washing machine. Yeah, little cupboard there. Okay, so moving on to this area now. So like me and Mitch have already said, this is the same point for us. We just absolutely love this glazed pod. It lets in so much light. I just, yeah. It's just so nice, isn't it? Also, these like double doors leading onto the garden. Again, it's just going to be a great entertaining place for us. I also just love the fact you can have your dining area here. As you can see, it actually just goes a little bit out, mm. isn't it? So, it's quite a bit, to be honest with you. Is, like the wall, the wall stops here, but then it just it goes out. So you can, to be fair, there's plenty of room back here still. So you can even yeah. move your table just further back a little bit more. Also love the fact these fittings are already included. For you to put like a hanging down light. Mm. So me and Mitch will be getting and have this over the dining table. I feel like dining table's a good size or a bit bigger than that. No, that's good size. Yeah, good size. We've also gone for spotlights here, haven't we? Yes. So one of the extras we did decide to upgrade to in our house was extras of lights. So the ones that are included are these are included, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. That one's included, and also that light. But as we've been speaking to fellow Balmile homeowners on like the Davidson's community, they were saying to us one real nice upgrade to do is to actually have spotlights. Not that you always have like your spotlights on, because I do think it's nice and cozy when you just have a couple of lights on, like maybe a lamp and stuff. But again, if it is a darker day, I just feel like they look a little bit more. A lot more slick. Like yeah, they just look a little bit more. They just slick. blend in. Do you know what I mean? And also, what we mentioned working out with the cost of it as well is you're going to be buying like all your hanging lights and stuff anyway which can be quite expensive so actually to upgrade to some down lights but it kind of yeah. around about it's not that bad so we've gone for is it three we've gone for four there four there and then we've gone for four in yeah. the sitting room yeah but in the back sitting line, area so it's... yeah so these run in line with these yeah so as you're looking at it from here they, they'll all run in line. Yeah, I feel like that will look so nice as well. Then if we move over like, to this living space, so I don't feel like personally we would have ours laid out like this. We're really trying to get a visual for what we're going to have. I feel like we've been looking at maybe like a little L shape so far. Um, so like one goes here and up here. Or I feel like you could have maybe a two seater here. I don't think that'd there. work. I don't know. I think L shaped like, sofa there. Put yeah, so I was thinking like an L-shaped sofa around there, the shorter bit here, yeah. and then this is your walkway with a nice real coffee table, lamp, TV. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I and possibly have a little feature wall, not panelling, but something quirker. And then also, this is an extra um, currently, but this when this is not here, there's another bit of space. So we are going to do something with that though, aren't we? I feel we? like we may do something similar to this. Drink station. Drink station. Keep you, same as this really, not a fridge, but it's going to keep, we're going to have spirits in there with glasses and stuff like that, aren't we? I just we? feel like it gives you extra storage It's a well. good space, isn't it? Yeah, it just gives you extra storage, so you don't have to have everything in all like your kitchen, immediate kitchen. Because gla glasses take up a lot of space. They do, and obviously you want all your food yeah. in the kitchen, yeah. not necessarily like, well, like you say, all your glassware and stuff, so this is a real nice area to have all of that. Oh yeah, we've not spoken about the windows in the houses yet, we might have said up on the exterior, but we love this drop down window, as you can see, it just drops down, it's low ledges, and again, the light it emits with it being such a low window. When we was looking before we chose Davidson's as our builder, some of the new build houses, the windows were so small, Yeah. and like Didn't let a lot of lighting, did it? Yeah, lighting for me, especially with my job, is a massive, a massive point. So yeah, we just love the fact that with the Davidson's new builds, we just found that in all of the houses that we really looked at, they just let a lot of light yeah. in, the windows were nice. So yeah, we really, really love that as well. Also, another thing I wanted to mention is you do get integrated appliances with buying your home. So you get the dishwasher. I've never had a dishwasher. I'm so excited. I did it with Barnes, didn't yeah. I, so... We're glad to go back to that. You get a standard hub. Obviously, the induction is an upgrade. We have upgraded to this. You get your oven and microwave. Back to... No, we have this at the bar. Yeah. It's so cool. And yes, yeah, so you get your oven and microwave. And also, you get your integrated fridge freezer, which is nice. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's good, isn't it? it? 
she knows everything. Yeah. Um, so yeah, anyway, this is the back room, which like I say, was a selling point for us. Now let's move. Oh, also, can we just note that this is the floor. I don't know if this is the exact shape, but this is the kind of floor we've gone for, isn't it? I think it's the same, you know. Is it the same? We'll have to ask the lady here, but yeah. that, if it is, I'll... I like this too. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah we hope you do. <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice floor. So moving along, another key setting point for us as well was storage. You guys know I have a lot of stuff. Shoe, shoe cupboard. Yeah, so we actually have a cupboard under the stairs. Again, so pra again, practical. Again, when we was looking at um, previous like houses and they didn't have storage. They just bought, they boarded it up, didn't they? Boarded it up, but yeah. that's such a waste of space. Whereas this, you could do so much in here. Mm. You could actually rack it out. Like yeah. you say, shoes, you could put hanging things, yeah. for people's coats and stuff. Just a nice use of that space. Then we could have a little cat home here. Yeah, Look. we could make we could make something with that. For the cats, can't mm. That's cute. Like, yeah, we'll have to think about that, Mitchell. Um, then we have a downstairs loo, which is always handy for when you're entertaining. Real nice size, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, to a downstairs toilet. Yeah. I've never had a downstairs toilet. <laughs> you have in your barn well because it was a bungalow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have. I feel like this area, we're going to probably get like a radiator cover. Yeah. Kind of make it like a, a slim console table. Just Mirror. Just a box of radiator in. Couple of plants. Mirror. Yeah, candle. Standard. So one thing to mention about the layout of this house is ours is actually going to be on the opposite side. Yeah, everything's so, different. Yeah. Yeah, so our living room's going to be here. Our study slash, obviously it could be the playroom, whatever, but it'll be a study mainly for us. It's going to be on the other side. So this side, obviously we have the study, um, but equally you could have it as a playroom if you've got kids. And yeah, there's, there's a show moment though that, yeah. that's got a playroom and it, it works really well. But um, this is going to be your office, isn't it? Office, which be nice. It's good though because if we actually get a computer and stuff, I can do all my invoicing and stuff and like a that. Printer, like, have yeah, a printer, we, have no we always need it. a printer. Yeah, I feel like it's got to be an office for both of us. Maybe if Shamo here. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> that's that. And then we move over to the living room. I honestly think this is such a nice size living room. Nice and cozy. It's not overly big, is it? It's no. just it's snug. That's what I like for a living room. I feel like, you know, when you've got a living room, it's overly big. You don't get that homely, mm. cozy feeling. So, yeah, really looking forward to having a separate living room too. I feel like our plans... I feel like the L shape works well in this as well. But this is what I said, and that's why I didn't know how to do it in the back room. I feel like we have to play around I think probably both. Yeah. But definitely here, I feel like an, an L shape... They just look at, it just works so well. will work really, really well. Um, you've got a lot of space here, haven't you? I know. And we're going to probably do like a little bit of a media wall or something, aren't we? But with a built-in fire underneath. Yeah. The, the cosy, homely vibes. But obviously not straight the way. We'll probably get moved in and... But I feel like with the media wall, it needs to come all the way. I don't like it. Like yeah, no, you could basically have it the same size as that, but then it have alcove shelving. Yeah. But depending on the radiator. We just sort that situation out. To be fair, though, that, it does look good like that. Because you've still got your plugs either side in room for a lamp. Yeah, so anyway, this is the living room, crazy living room. And then again, we have the low window ledges, which is really nice. It's just awesome, isn't it? Oh. Lovely window. So that is the living room. Okay, so that is the downstairs. Another thing just quickly want to mention about the extras that we have chosen. We have actually gone for spotlights in the hallway and also the downstairs loo. To be fair, I don't really think we needed them in the downstairs, do you? Yeah, but it's done, isn't it, now? Yeah. <laughs> just, to be fair, I think we more went for that just to kind of flow, flow it through the house. Obviously, living room and study, we don't need. Spotlights. No, you, you, it's you, nice you, to have a nice... You like a nice yeah. feature. Okay, next up, let's go upstairs. My favourite part's upstairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at it. Okay. Where do we start? Let's start with the master bedroom, of course. So this is the master bedroom. This again is just a nice size, enough room for a dual bed. I mean, ours is super king. So they're okay. quite wide. These are very wide. They are That's wide. Lot... So yeah. I'll just half the size. Yeah. With you. Um, so yeah, we're just going to have a super king bed here. We are looking at maybe having like an inbuilt headboard just to be like a bit of a staple feature thing of the room. But yeah, I feel like those bedside tables will have a lot. Small we'll room. have loads more room. Um, then, as you can see here, they've chose to put this like getting ready area yeah. here. But we probably won't have. We're going to have a TV on the wall, aren't we? We're just going to have a TV on the wall, and yeah, that keep be it, it minimal in here because we've got so much room elsewhere. Yeah, we're we're here to sleep, aren't we? Of course. 
else, yeah. And I just think you don't really need... No. I mean, some people might like to get rid of here. Oh, of course. But, but we've got extra rooms for that because there's only two of us. Okay, and then another exciting feature of this room... That I this was a selling room, point. was another selling point, to be fair. Um, is the separate wardrobe area. So it's just an alcove and then it comes into almost effectively another little room, isn't it? Like, yeah. It feels like you're in another room because you've got the window in here. That's a um, good... That... I like that, that they had the window. So, and I feel like it emits more light yeah. into the master room too. So this is obviously all included. There are upgrade options with your doors and handles and everything. I think you did choose... We've upgraded to white gloss, haven't we? White gloss, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, this isn't an extra. Like, as it far did, as the, no, the wardrobes the themselves. Because we did initially think that we'd have to fit the yeah. wardrobes in ourselves, didn't we? And I was like, no. It's a really good like setting point, really. Yeah, so nice. So we love that little area. Oh my God, you could have a little like... Um, do you know those little cushion seat things? So you can put your shoes... Yeah, not that you're going to put your, <laughs> your shoes on in our carpets because we've gone for cream carpets. And then we have an ensuite. Oh my God, what a luxury oh, no. ensuite. Um, it's such a nice size that ensuite is. As big as our bathroom. It, it is literally the same <laughs> size. I'm joking. Such a nice shower so, area. So yeah, I've got a nice shower area, which Mitchell will be enjoying. This is mine, isn't it? No, we actually. We also have a little window in here. Just cute. It's a nice area. So moving on to the other rooms in the house. So you might be thinking, full bed house with two people. Look, I work at home, so I need all the space I can get. So this is one of the spare bedrooms. We haven't quite worked out what we're going to be doing with our three other spare bedrooms yet. Other than I definitely need a filming room for mm. work. I need a wardrobe room too. Then what are we doing for the fourth bedroom? Oh, we're gonna do a guest bedroom as well. Yeah, guest bedroom, your filming, filming room, room, and then your wardrobe room. Yeah, so that's- So it's basically Laura's house. <laughs> no, <laughs> we do have a big garage. That could always be a possible option. Instead of like taking up the space in the room yeah. to have that, you could have it as a studio, a gym, obviously so much space in there. Um, just wanted to mention that all the rooms are actually dual, re dual bedrooms as well, so you can fit double beds in here. Obviously, they've chose to do this as like a kid's bedroom with a single bed. But yeah, they're all really good sizes. So obviously, they have got wardrobes in here, but, you know, they are an extra. So, yeah. We haven't gone for any extra wardrobes, have we? We're just going to no. have them as they come. Let's move into the family main bathroom. Um, again, this is a really nice size. So we've got bath, sink toilet this is then, this is my favorite mitchell loves this he's a shower separate guy. shower separate shower that is just unreal like you could be having a bath joe when you're going to be in the no, shower joe when joe in our house at the minute it's like you're having a bath i've got to wait for you i can just yeah. dip in or go in the ensuite yeah, not bothered yeah, <laughs> that. so that is the family bathroom main bathroom family and bathroom well, that's what they call it we ain't it? got a family well it's me and you in the house <laughs> that is our family then the next double bedroom, this one, which again, is such a lovely size, isn't yeah. it? This could be the guest bedroom, maybe. Or we're gonna have it all one. depends on the lighting, doesn't it, for you? Yeah, right. Which yeah, room nice. is going to be... This is such a nice size, isn't it? Yeah. So it's very spacious, and again, you're not going to have those wardrobes there. I mean, we'll probably put our own wardrobes in there for our guest room and stuff. Mm. And also, you've got to think, these are quite big. Mm. So these take up quite a lot is of space. It? I'd probably have gone that way with... Yeah, this is a really cute room. Yeah, I didn't realise how big this was. I know, I'm trying to like visualise and think which room I'm going to have my filming room in. But the only thing with this for a filming room is I like the ones where they've got the lower yeah, windows. Yeah, it, it all depends, does it, doesn't it, on our oh, on our plot. On, I'd yeah. say the back the back rooms would be your best for, for filming. Yeah, maybe the, that one. Yeah. Though. Anyway. Yeah, because also as well, your wardrobe room, you want to keep the wall square. Yeah. But this one, obviously, you've got a nice... It's good, isn't it? Because it all angles round. So this one's got like an angled room. Maybe that's my wardrobe then. Yeah. Okay, then you might be thinking, what is this? What's in here? This is the boiler. Um, but again, I mean, I don't know. Does this come with it? Or not? No, I guess not. But guess we can. Not. I can build something. But Mitchell will be in a carpenter. I could probably box up. Man of many skills. I could probably box that boiler in. Yeah. I feel like you've got a lot of space yeah. next to the boiler. So we're probably going to do a lot of shelves like this. And we can put towels and things yeah, like that yeah. in there. Make use of the space we've got, which is nice. So that's nice, and I like that it's you know tucked away in mm. a cupboard. And um, right, then moving on to the last double bedroom of the upstairs. Again, real nice size. You're managing to get in your bedside tables, double beds, also the wardrobe, which this is inbuilt. <laughs> Again, that's a lot of space there, isn't there? Looks good. Um, and I like how do you know all these bedrooms are kind of different sizes, and 
Yeah, that's what I mean. I like all the sh different shape. Yeah, like nothing's they're not, they're not square. Yeah. Box rooms, aren't they? No. Got nice shapes to them. Yeah, this is a real nice size again. Oh, maybe this is the filming room. We've got so many decisions to make. Oh no. We? Um, but yeah, lovely, lovely room. Um, and it's obviously at the front of the house. Mm. Okay, so that is the upstairs. Lots going on. Lots for us to think about. With obviously furniture and stuff because that that's obviously not going to be something we really do until we move in. I think because we need to get a feel for our space. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've been able to see like the main selling points for us and why we love this house so much. Um, and yeah, we're really looking forward to moving in. Okay, I'm back from the show home visit now and I just thought I'd have a full on catch up with you guys. Sit down, I've made myself a cup of tea and just give you a little bit more information um, about the house and just talk all things house because I feel like there's a lot more that I haven't really touched base with and just wanted to tell you about. But first things first, can we just... Honestly, these cats are so cute. We didn't make the bed this morning and now I feel like I can't even make the bed because the cats are just here and they just look too cute. So yeah, please excuse the fact that I'm sitting on an unmade bed, but I'm sure pet owners will relate. Um, but yeah, anyway, as I said, back from the show home visit now. So you'll have saw our house that we have chosen, which is the Barnwell, of course, from Davidson's. Hopefully just give you a little bit more of an insight into why we went with that house and some of the main features of that house as well that we particularly love. So yeah, I just thought we'd sit back down now and just talk through a little bit more about the process of buying our home with Davidson's because I know I had so many questions about this. Um, people saying, you know, how did you choose Davidson's? Like, how did you know that Davidson's um, were the builder that you wanted to go with? What was the process of reserving your plot and everything like that? So yeah, I thought we'd touch base with all of that. So I feel like the first place to start is actually why we chose Davidson's and why Davidson's homes in particular really stood out to us. So I feel like I've already mentioned this, but me and Mitchell did go and view the various other builders. Like we went and seen so many new build homes and it was always a bit like, Mm, it's all right but I don't know I always feel like when you're buying a house you just kind of know you just get that instant feeling like this is the one and we definitely felt that with Davidson's and that's obviously of course why we didn't go in with them but yeah like the other houses that we viewed just things weren't completely right we'd always walk into the show homes and be like oh but I wish they had this for example there was one we was quite interested in but it didn't have a separate utility room it had the living room on the back and it didn't have the um open plan room on the back it was like on the front and there was just all these factors that it was like it's just not the one and when you're paying a lot of money to buy a house i just feel that you can't be unsure of it and you can't be going in somewhere and saying to yourself but i want to change this i wish it had that i wish it had this it's got to be as close to perfect as possible obviously nothing's ever 100 percent perfect in life of course you sometimes might have to make a few compromises but i feel like to be honest with you the bomb for us is really perfect like it's just everything we wanted so yeah as soon as we went and saw the davidson's show homes me and mitchell both said wow this is a step above all of the other new homes that we'd looked around the spec for us just felt a complete level up it just felt so much more luxurious the like fixture and fittings in the house just seemed just so much better quality and the outsides of the house as well i think that was a massive drawing point to us because they all look very like almost georgian they have a different feel to them they don't almost feel like your standard new build home i just like the features that they have on them so yeah there were various reasons why davidson's came out on top for us but i think ultimately it just felt a step up from the other new build houses that we saw so once we had decided, right, we love the Davidson's homes, it was then obviously finding the Barnwell. So we actually knew that there was a site local to us that had houses still for sale at, and that was ultimately the location that we wanted to be in. Ultimately, we just nipped into the sales office one day and just said, hey, we're really interested in a four bed, what do you have available or what do you have coming up? And the options were a Darlington, a Barnwell, and I think a Bolsover. I could be wrong with that one, but I'm pretty sure that was the other four bed that they had. I think that was a smaller one of between the Barnwell and the Darlington. So funny thing is, we actually did really like the Darlington initially. Um, when we had a look at kind of both of the show homes, we really did like the Darlington's inside too. I mean, they're very, very similar 
But then, I don't know, then we've seen the barn well from the outside and really kind of favoured, I guess, the exterior of the barn well. It was kind of between the two, really. We would have been happy with either the Darlington or the barn well. But then when it came to looking at the site plan and the sales lady showing us which ones were going to be coming up available, we really liked the positioning in of the barn well. So one of the things that was also important to us buying the new build was, of course, being able to choose our plot and picking the plot that kind of suited us and our needs and what we wanted. So we very luckily was able to find the perfect plot south facing garden we're literally on a cul-de-sac um we don't overlook any of the houses we've just got greenery it's honestly so perfect and i know typically with new builds people can be a bit like oh they're all clumped together they're so overlooked and bloody bloody blah, -de -blah, -de -blah. Honestly, I feel like with Davidson's homes, they are so much more spread out than the new builds that we were looking at. Like some of the new build sites that we went to, you felt so on top of each other. Whereas I feel like with Davidson's, all the streets just feel very like large and wide. Honestly, it just for us felt such a different vibe. And that's ultimately as well why we went with it. And then it was just a case of waiting for it to come on the market so we could reserve it. Obviously at this point, there could be so many other people wanting to reserve this house. So it is... I feel like a case of first come first serve and people being in the best position so just in case you didn't already know to buy a new build home you do need to either be sold so if you have a current home it needs to be sold that's the best position to be in um or part exchange is an option or also of course if you're a first time buyer and obviously have the deposit there and you're not in the chain then you're also in a good position so luckily with me and mitchell we was in such a good position we never even had to put this house on the market we had a cash buyer it was a friend of a friend so we we was in a really really good position to you know hopefully be able to reserve this house so we managed to reserve the house that was amazing you just have to give a small deposit to secure your reservation and from there it really is honestly so plain sailing and smooth well at least it has been for us me and Mitchell have actually been so surprised with how smooth this whole home buying journey has been so yeah then you get your solicitors involved and obviously have all the legal sides of everything to deal with which to be honest with you we've not really had to do an awful lot it's literally just a case of leaving it to the solicitors we have a few forms and paperwork to fill out and read over and sign and that's practically it and then the other real nice side of buying a new build and again something else that really did appeal to me and Mitchell again I had so many questions like why did you go for a new build why don't you just get a house and renovate it if we're really honest we didn't want to do a renovation project it's not for everyone and that's okay we just wanted to buy a house that was done and dusted and obviously having a new build allows us to do that we can move in the house is newly decorated it's got new flooring in we've obviously been able to pick out everything in the house that we want like i say from flooring to kitchen to bathroom tiles everything like that so yeah it's just the case for us that it was more convenient less stress and because it's our first home together as well we just didn't want to be going through all that stress of a renovation project for our first house so yeah it's just personal preference and like i say not everybody has the same preferences and that's fine as i just briefly touched on we was able to pick the interiors of our property and i did have quite a lot of questions on this on instagram as well a few people saying how does the interiors work what is included what's not now i mean i can't sit here and give you a full rundown of what's included and what's not because i'm not a sales representative but there is an awful lot that is included your kitchen's included your dishwasher your oven your microwave your fridge your freezer and also tiling to a certain extent i feel like there's a standard tiling package it's not tiled everywhere just behind the base and some things like that so yeah obviously house to house i can't quote what's included um but there was an awful lot included but then the amazing thing which we really have enjoyed picking out and you know being able to do is upgrade to extras so mine and mitchell's motto for the main part of this has just been like let's just get it right the first time there's no point just putting the box standard kitchen in if let's say a year down the line we're thinking well we want a quartz worktop so yeah we have made a few upgrades in the house which i think i ran you through a few of them when i was showing you around the house for example like light fittings that we wanted then the kitchen we've upgraded um bathroom i don't actually think we upgraded to anything in the bathroom they had a really good choice and selection of things that were just included in the standard fittings the only thing i think we did upgrade in the bathroom that is that we've had the tiling all the way around just a half high but i think what was only included for us is like a you know included in the price was just around the wash areas i believe don't quite me so you basically get to go back to the sales office um, of your site for davidson's have a meeting with your sales lady they make you a copper it's so nice and there's a designated area within the sales office where 
behind cupboards, they just magically get out all of these floor tiles, bathroom tiles, carpet samples, handles for doors in the kitchen, handles for the cupboards, honestly, everything. It literally felt for me like I was in The Sims and I was getting all these things and oh it was so good i was in my element to be honest with you it didn't take us long at all to pick our options it's funny because the lady was saying that sometimes people are in there for hours 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 trying to go back and forth between what they want what they don't want whereas me and mitchell were so like-minded we kind of knew our vision for how we wanted the house the color scheme and everything like that so it was actually really easy for us as you'll see i'm pretty sure i do show you the options that we ended up going for which was the upgraded carpets in a kind of cream color i know some people are going to be like oh my god what have you done with that decision but look we don't have children we're all good. I mean, maybe me with my makeup, that might be an issue, but hopefully I'll be all right. And then as you'll be able to see, we upgraded the kitchen to like a light gray door, shaker style door with the chrome handles, which is gorge. And then like I say, for bathroom tiles, we just went with the standard, the standard white, I can't remember the name of it, but if you go over to my Instagram, I have listed everything we chose there. But it's beautiful. It looked so nice in the brochure that we looked at because you could actually see in the brochure it fully tiled in a bathroom which gave us a better vision we just thought if we go with neutral tones everywhere then it's just easy to dress up so yeah that is pretty much all bases covered oh mitchell did also upgrade the wardrobe doors which we did mention in the showroom i also wanted to mention as well you get grass now i know that might sound crazy but with some of the new build houses that we were looking at with other developers you didn't actually get grass included and that would have been an extra so that was another plus point as well the one thing we didn't obviously get to show you in the showroom tour as well is the garage space which honestly i will of course be showing you a full house like empty house tour when we move so you'll get to see the garage space but the garage space was another thing that really did appeal to us it is huge like considering it's a single garage there is so much space in there oh my god the plans that me and mitchell are thinking about i mean we need to get in first and just you know what i mean but I just feel like it would make such an amazing space even if you split half the garage up and had half a storage you could convert half into a gym a studio for work anything like there's so many possibilities and just that extra space is just so so welcomed with us so yeah i think that's pretty much everything and just another pointer on choosing your options as well with davidson's which is something that me and mitchell was really impressed with also was that you actually get a login to my davidson so basically my davidson's is almost like the sims online like a virtual house and each room you can click on each room and you get to select your extras or look at the options of which you could put extras in if you wanted to which honestly you could go absolutely crazy with the extras and things that you can add on to your house yeah it could be lethal but it was so good going through that as well because then me and Mitchell could get an idea of what kind of things you can upgrade to things that we hadn't thought of like for example the spotlights we hadn't even really thought about extra lighting and I'm so glad we did because it's definitely something I feel like we would have regretted if we hadn't have added it in so yeah that's always a great feature as well so if you do have your initial meeting of picking your choices and want a little bit of time to think of it you can go home and just go on the my davidson's app and just go through all the options of everything still i mean obviously it's nice to see everything in person but obviously you can see all the options and choices that you can make through that too so that's a really good thing that they do offer i'm just trying to think of anything else just to make sure i have covered all bases but i'm pretty sure that's everything guys but i'm pretty sure that's everything guys there really isn't too much to the actual buying process like I say, for me, Mitch has been so straightforward, which is really nice because it's made it just so less stressful. We've not really had an awful lot to do on our ends. It's all just been handled by everyone. Um, we we're allowed to have site visits as well um, to monitor the progress and we get updated by our sales manager and everything. So yeah, it's great. I'm actually going for a site visit tomorrow, which is really exciting. I've not actually been in about four or five weeks and it's crazy the amount of progress that happens between like each visit. Yeah, I'm excited to see where we're at tomorrow. If you have anything else that you you'd like to ask about our new build home buying journey then do let me know just pop a comment in the comments box and i'll try and get back to you but yeah like i say we're so very excited and can't wait to be in there i feel like it's just a waiting game of counting down but yeah 2024 is definitely going to be a good year so anyway guys i'm going to wrap up the video here i will leave a link to davidson homes website in the description box so you can go over and have a little look um they show you all the different house types that they have available there and also the locations of the different sites 
just in case you are interested in buying a Davidson's home and want to see where the nearest site closest to you or even further afield is if you want to move out of your current area but yeah all the details are over on there and i would also leave a 360 tour of our house type in the description too just in case you want to have a little look on that but yeah thank you so so much for watching guys i'm really excited to bring you on this moving journey of course it's going to be moving vlogs we've already had so many questions you're going to be doing moving vlogs of course we'll be bringing you on it's so exciting for us and yeah i just feel like it's a whole new chapter of like both of our lives and relationships so yeah can't wait to take you on the journey thank you for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye, -bye.